The story goes like this. Amy Gilliam and I went on an ambassadorship to Shanghai, China for the state of Hawaii to get interest from country and islands tourism industry. And so, of course, in the, in the Communist Party, there's, only, there's a certain way you have to act and you have to uphold yourself when you're in the presence of these individuals, especially the delegates. You've got to be... You gotta be on a game game plan that I, I know nothing about. See, I show I showed up with expensive slippers, but it's gotta be slippers. <laughs> so Amy made sure that I went to the shoe store and bought shoes. And she said, you know, we were there and then we were doing all of our stories, we were doing our songs and stuff like that. And of course, you know, these are Chinese delegates now. <laughs> Every song. And so Amy goes, I don't know what you have to do to get these people jumping and stuff like that, but you better do something right now. <laughs> so I went, and I just grabbed the microphone, and I figured, you know, because I got a little Chinese history in me, besides martial arts, they have this thing called Chinese <laughs> opera, right? So I went over there and just, just bagged it, just went like... <laughs> making this shit up. <laughs> so after we're done, we get a standing ovation, and then all the delegates came and shook our hands. After that song, everything else we've done was, was great. They loved it, no matter what. Then this pretty lady from Shanghai University comes up and she goes, excuse me, son. I love that piece that you have done. I don't know what piece it was, but I am the professor of vocal music arts in the Shanghai University. <laughs> I go, oh! She goes, I go, thank you very much. She goes, I would like for you to come and do a vocal workshop with my students. Of course, I could have lied and just went over there and had a blast. I couldn't lie to this lady, so I told her, you know, I'm sorry, but um, I just made that up. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I thought she would get it, you know what I mean? I thought she would get it fast that I was just trying to entertain. And I don't like, you know the Karate Kid movie, Miyagi? She looked at me, she goes, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> So move a few more years, you two came my, into my lap, and thus came my interest into Luciano Pavarotti. For you, my friend, I give you this song called Nessun Dora.